Me and Aaron are actually planning to get our kitchen done. Get rid of this horrible white that I we both don't like. And having a dog, it's really impractical because anytime she touches it, if she's been out outside playing around in the forest, leaves mud everywhere, and it just looks quite dated and needs updating. So um, we're just currently looking around at kitchens, getting some ideas and some designs done. I've got work tomorrow, um, but while I'm at work, Aaron's gonna go see a friend of ours at home base to see about getting our kitchen designed. So hopefully I'll get to show you the designs tomorrow and um, see what it's like, it's very exciting. So we've actually just been looking around for kitchens, we've been looking online, getting ideas, and we actually went to B&Q and got our kitchen designed, um, which is so exciting, it was really fun and really, really easy, they were brilliant. So here's a couple of pictures of a uh, Choice number one, which is um, the like B and Q's own range. What do you think? It's pretty good. It's dark wood. It's um, quite dark though because it's walnut. And then we've got the white cabinets on the top. Um, I really like it. It looks great. Um, and then we've got design number two. This is the design um, which I prefer. The wood's not as dark, it's a little bit more expensive though. And um, I think it just looks better, looks more open and more light and airy. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? Put a little comment on, let me know. So there is so much choice out there. Didn't really know where to start. Um, so I actually got one of these wonderful books from B&Q um, with all their kitchen bits in and who knew that getting a kitchen was actually going to be so expensive. I knew it was going to be pricey but oh my gosh I've been looking at taps, exciting stuff I know but um, the tap that I like is £172, £172 just for one tap. So here's the B&Q brochure and um, They've actually got like awards apparently. They've like won number one kitchen retailer. So that's quite good. And a lot of them, again, five year installation guarantee. So there's lots of like good things about it. And first kitchen, page number one really, is the kitchen that I love. This unit I absolutely love, which we'll probably have, but maybe just one cooker, not two. Love the fact that it's like wood, really light wood. It complements the white. Um, it's just fab. I absolutely love it. So there's actually loads and loads and loads and loads of kitchen stuff in his catalogue. It's actually really good um, because there's so much detail. But where to start? Where to start? Here it is, the Farley. Da, 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 da. Isn't it nice? Imagine that, but smaller in our house. This is the slightly cheaper version. Was this one? This is it in Warner. And again, you've got the white on the top and the wood on the bottom. But I'm not quite sure. I haven't been convinced. I think it's a bit too dark. Oh, and another thing. What kind of top do you want? Do you want something like um, granite top or do you want laminate or wood? Oh my gosh, there's so much. The laminates are really good as well. There's a really, this wood one I really like. That's really lovely. It's kind of like a brown, got a bit of gray in it. It looks great. And then all these splashbacks as well. What color do you have on your splashback? So um, here with your cooker. It's easy to wipe then. And sinks, what kind of sink do you want? Do you want a stainless steel sink? Do you want a black one? Do you want a ceramic one? Um, do you want one with like one um, sink bit? Or do you want one with two? Or do you want one with a garbage disposal? So many questions! Oh my gosh. So we had it all done and designed with B&Q and that was really cool. Um, so we'll see what home base say tomorrow. It's a shame that I can't be there because um, I'd like to see it happening. But Aaron does a good job. He knows what he's on about. He's got all the dimensions and stuff. So we'll see what he brings home. But in the meantime, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, remember the little things.